Robin from Nordic. I'm on my way to the airport because I'm going to the Embedded World trade show in Germany. So let's see what's new in the world of Embedded Electronics. So one of the first places I always visit at trade shows like this is Bosch Sensor Tech. Uh, they always have cool demos and this year they brought this uh, Rubik's Cube which uses their uh, inertial measurement unit to create a digital representation on this tablet uh, that it, because it sends all the data over Bluetooth uh, and it can actually show you how to solve the Rubik's Cube which is great for people like me who never managed to solve it uh, without cheating. So one of the things I've seen a lot of at this show is uh, cellular applications. For instance, uh, here at AirNASA's booth, uh, I saw their, the chip tracker that they have developed on behalf of the Norwegian company Telespur. Um, and in general, there's a lot of uh, animal tracking going on with cellular, uh, cellular connectivity. So for instance, you have, I've seen elephant trackers, I've seen bird trackers, I've also seen uh, Ukrainian company NIX, which do asset tracking for shipping. Uh, other uses for cellular applications are things like power grid and other utility monitoring. For instance, this uh, uh, ground fault detector circuit that they made for uh, Another example of uh, utility monitoring, this time from Goliath. And if you uh, if you listen to the previous uh, Amp Hour podcast, this is the display that was causing Chris from Goliath uh, problems. You can also see the, the multicolored uh, reverse mounted LEDs here that uh, are shining through the substrate of the PCB. We just met Raj with the most amazing prototype on his face and he's here to, do, uh, to tell us a bit more about it. Yep, absolutely. So we've just released this product at Brilliant Labs and uh, it's an augmented reality heads-up display. Uh, there's, a, there's a little screen in there, there's a camera, microphone and it's actually powered by a Nordic MCU connected to an FPGA. So it's all running MicroPython, so the, the idea is that you can write uh, apps and games in Python send it over the air and it runs on the device. So right now I see a floating dis display and it's like holding a phone sort of arm's length away from you. And uh, yeah, it's an open source product on the market right now. And uh, it's all driven by the community, people making all kinds of cool apps and games. So, so where do we go to get involved or yep. try to get one for ourselves? Absolutely. You can check out brilliantmonocle.com and you'll find the links there. And if you want to see all the technical information, all the schematics, the source code, you can go to docs.brilliantmonocle.com. Perfect. So there's a lot of cool uh, engineering tools here at Embedded World. For instance, this is a Red Pitaya, which has a built-in DAC, uh, so it can be used as a digital oscilloscope and logic analyzer. It's sort of like a power profiler kit to on steroids. And it connects over Ethernet, plug and play, so you can access it through your browser and if you have a server you can even access it remotely over the internet and there's so of course there's a lot of normal oscilloscopes and logic analyzers and development tools that we also saw here at embedded world so at trade shows like this i'm always looking for like small bluetooth le modules and what really caught my eyes is this uh, module at the uBlox's booth which is the ANA B1 module. It's only six and a half by six and a half millimeters but it has a Bluetooth radio and the antenna inside it. And you also have this uh, antenna array that can be used for Bluetooth direction finding. So the last thing I want to show you from my coverage of Embedded World 2023 is the Nordic booth. It has been a super busy week here for us. I hope to see you all here next time. And I hope also to have more time the next time to show you more of the things that are happening because I couldn't get through all of them because of all of the traffic that we have had here at our booth. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.